man, it is such a nice morning. But these birds, boy, they got me. I mean, look at this. Seriously? All right, you guys, welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. We got something that's gonna change your life in this video. Get your skills up and make your clients happier and your product look better. Two, we also got something else that's gonna help enhance all your haircuts, make them look even better, and it's going to give you less problems while using it. That being said, let's get it. We just got a package here. Let's go check it out. It looks like there is a team. Sonny, you dying? You ain't never had no motherfucking chest pains. I'm gonna tell you something. That shit's killer. So let's say a prayer for Sonny, yo. Hopefully his chest is all right. That's right. And I promise I won't punch him in the chest today. <laughs> yo, but Sonny, Sonny, I wanted to challenge you. It's good. I'm challenging you to a mullet competition, me and you. Get it. Let me tell you something. Sonny thinks he's king dangling around here now because he's wearing his mullet and he got this beautiful head of hair. Let me tell you the something. Mullet. I'm the one who, yeah, he changed his name. <laughs> this is how ridiculous it is. He changed his name to the Mullet Whisperer. Also, so, the Mullet Guru. All right, relieved to see that this light is the exact same light. It plugs in here and it has a switch here. Man, that switch not even all worn out. All right, let's plug it in, see what it looks like. What up, Sterling? I messed up the whole film. My new barber in the house. Hey. What's good? Uptown barber. Yo, I'm shop. excited to see some of the content we're going to be able to put together with him because this dude can spray paint and paint, and he's an artist, and I'm going to let him go crazy. I'm going to let him go crazy up in here. We're going to have the coolest looking shop. Cool. Woo! Woo! Yeah. All I'm saying is, who are you trying to scare with those garbage little lights when you got something like this? I can see every imperfection in my haircuts as long as I got this. Sorry, give me a minute. All right, we screwed that in there. That's good. Top piece. Just slides on right here. Boom. Screw this up. And you got yourself a light that you can put in any position. That's what I love about these. Just flexible. Blah. All right, let's screw it onto the station. All right, you guys, that's what it is. I wrapped this up here so it's not in the way. You got this here. Bam. Now you got some true, true lighting. The difference in my face when I turn it on. Blam. And now the iPhone's fixing it. So the iPhone's gonna make up for a lot of the problems that your camera is gonna face because iPhones are just really good like that. But real cameras, and when you go to take photos and stuff like that, everything is gonna be enhanced by this. So not only are your haircuts gonna get better, um, your videos and your photos are gonna come out better too. It's so easy to figure out that even Sonny was able to put this together without any help or any instructions. I'm more of a look at it and do it type thing than read any instructions. A look at it and do it kind of So I go through life. <laughs> For some people, they like to do the ring lights. Now I hate ring lights. I think these are garbage. The light is not as good. It doesn't put out as much uh, it doesn't put out as much light as you would hope it would. And really filming from a, a ring light, I don't really like doing that either because it locks you in to keeping your light right there, right? Sometimes I want my light a little lower or a little bit different. So I'd much rather not use this giant thing and it comes with this huge chin up bar and it's just in the way, man. And there's no reason for it. Much rather have something that's low profile, out of the way, small, and produces a significant amount of light. <laughs> You're also gonna get this in the box. If for some reason you can't attach it to your station on the outside, you can. they send you some hardware here and you could attach your gooseneck right to this and you could have your light on your stand or on your desk just sitting up here. So Johan was asking if they're adjustable. Yeah, Dang. I, don't know. I was looking for the uh, adjusting button. They have, but they have one speed, fast and faster. That's it, high speed, <laughs> low drag. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is like if your client's right here and you feel like it's too much light you can just sort of move it back move it up push it down i mean these are very you could you could twist this however you want it to be Dead. Oh, no, it ain't. Things got some heat, boy. This is what I believe to be the best airbrush 
gun on the market. And I'm just gonna run some, some alcohol through it. Let's see what it's spray like. Holy shizness, look at this. About it. Let's see if does it have the power to do this. Let's go. What do you think about the lights? I love. Oh, I love the lights. Would you want to work without that light? No. No. Hell, what about know. you, Johan? First day working with the light. What you think? I'd rather work in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> he, he used to operate by candlelight over here. Yeah, yeah. It's a step up from my candlelight. <laughs> but let's see. Would you want to work without it now that you have work? No, with no, it? definitely not. Definitely, definitely not. Right. What you think? First time working with the light. I can't imagine working without the light ever again. You sound so scripted. The light's so A1. <laughs> it is though. It yeah. is. What you think? Did you use your light today? Yep. I like it a lot. Uh, we got the lights. We got them in. I got some reactions for you guys just to see how everybody else liked them. But it's super nice that everybody's got the same light. So now, no matter where we work from, we got good light in the shop. It's a huge problem. And if you can't see the problem, you can't fix it. Also, that airbrush gun, linked it down below. Dope airbrush gun. Think that you guys are gonna be happy with it. If you try it, it shoots at 30 PSI, and it's got a ton of power. Other than that, man, this is the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Mr. Eddie Barber, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. I slammed my camera. What were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, it was so funny. Connor, did you even turn your light <laughs> on? a little dance. No! <laughs> you didn't even turn it on? No. Not even once? No. no. Did you just forget it was there? Yes. It's a decorative piece, did you Kinda know? I forgot it was there. Oh, look at my boy Merry Josh Christmas. Allen jumping over that clown of a <laughs> Chiefs defender. You did use yours. Uh, I seen you use it. Yeah. I seen you use it. No. <laughs> I got it on. I mean, look at the difference in that face. Turn it off. The iPhone fixes it quick, though. <laughs>